Developing tonight, prisoners in their own homes, from broken elevators to other persistent problems, residents tell us their safety is at risk. So what will it take to bring change to the BMHA? 7 Witness News reporter Jeff Rusak working this story tonight. Dozens of people call this 10-story building home. It's the Lyndon B. Johnson Apartments and a part of the Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority. Saturday on 7 Eyewitness News, we told you about the elevators that had been in and out of service for days. We have had people come walk down the stairs from the 10th floor carrying a walker. On Monday, one elevator is up and running. A sign says parts are on the way for the other. Nate Boyd is a community activist. He's been producing videos on Facebook about the problem. They, they've got to do something to help us, Jeff. they, they got to do something to help these people. He believes the elevators are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to problems with the BMHA. On top of that, you got all these major maintenance problems, okay? You got all these people that have come up in the period being tested positive for lead, for mold. This is a big, major problem. Tuesday morning, he says he and dozens of people who live in the LBJ building will attend a Buffalo Common Council meeting to share their frustrations. So we're asking everybody, you disabled, you hurt, come on downstairs. Come here, we'll get you there. We, the people, the, our leaders need to hear from us. We reached out to the BMHA. Scheduling conflicts prevented us from getting answers on camera. The manager of the LBJ apartment says it could take up to six months to fix the elevator. The Common Council meeting begins at 10 Tuesday morning. Reporting in Buffalo, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.